Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take another look at the Gorgon Wraith and considering it came without any mods it was a bit awkward and we did form it only the ones though and it turned out to be pretty decent considering it starts with 22 impact, 2 puncture, 1 slash, accuracy was pretty low, the fire rate's okay, the status and uh, crit aren't really that big, magazine was huge though. So what we did is we managed to get the impact up to 67 for the puncture, 3 on the slash and we threw on viral damage. Accuracy stayed the same, the fire rate went up, uh, status went up but that's for a completely different reason and magazine also went up because I don't really know. I was just looking at the mods but I can't remember why the magazine went up. Hmm. So it has been formatted once for a V polarity this was just to make it a little bit better because even though this weapon is a lot of fun to use it's noisy as hell it fires like crazy and annoys other players a lot of people will say it doesn't but hearing this thing spool up you instantly think oh no there's a heavy grenier behind us and they turn around and you're running along with this thing in your hand it confused the hell out of us for a couple of days after it came out because I kept thinking I was being ambushed by the Grenier. God damn this weapon's noisy. So we just did one V polarity and in that obviously we threw serration. For the viral we ended up with, that is, this is also where the status comes from, 60% from the malignant force. This was from the, not the last event, it was the one before. And that was only put in there because the normal uh, poison damage is an 11 max. This is only a 7. And even that one for 60% is a 9. Whereas this is a 7. So this one is a little bit better to put in if you can get a hold of it. People are trying to trade it all the time because it's not in general circulation yet. Though they probably will drop that in nightmare mode probably. Uh, once they've released the other ones that is. And obviously freeze damage, that one however is maxed. Uh, then, unfortunately, that's pretty much it for the damage. Serration, viral damage. The rest of it went on getting it to shoot crazily fast, have a, a bigger magazine, reload quicker, and make sure you can try and keep the ammo. Uh, obviously you could format this three or four more times. Multi-shot is going to be insane in this weapon. Um, heavy caliber I don't know the accuracy is already down to 10 so putting that in will make it more powerful but will also mean you couldn't hit the size of a grenier ship because it's just gonna shoot all over but a lot of people will be doing that this is just literally former it once it came with a catalyst anyway so you just drop a former in it and it's, you've got yourself a nice powerful weapon. And it's literally, it is just reload speed because this thing is so slow. The magazine capacity because you've increased the fire rate. Hence the fire rate's also in there. The ammo mod, I'm not sure why we didn't just throw this one in there. Oh, wrong one. Oh god, I can't add two and three together. <laughs> because that's obviously going to give us more ammo. I don't know why it was a two, I think we just... We got it to 30 and forgot to finish it off. But even that, you'll see, it's not a maxed mod. We could format this several more times and make a stupidly powerful weapon. But, unfortunately, it's not really worth it. There is better weapons to spend your formats on. And obviously, ammo mutator as well. Because this thing is insane on the ammo. It just fires so quick, especially once you drop that in there. <laughs> it shoots really quickly which means uh, people are less likely to think there's a grenier heavy coming up behind you as well because you pretty much start spooling it and you've got to reload because it's already spooled up and emptied out an entire clip love this weapon okay before anybody says it yes I know this is a survival that has just started but these guys are already 35s and it is killing them though not that easily. No, the bastards are corners. It's, this is mainly down to the fact there's too many of them. 
I'm trying to thin them out. Ah, oh, screw you. Go away. So I can concentrate on him. It's... There you go, he's dead. If you can concentrate on one enemy at a time, it is really powerful. I mean, as you can see, we're taking out hordes of these guys, but there's just... Unfortunately, I am spamming trigger here. Trying to take out hordes of them at a time. Because we stupidly came into a survival. This is also why we have the reload on. Ah! Dead! <laughs> and we are by ourselves here. So this was actually a huge mistake. Sorry guys, I need to go grab this stuff, otherwise we're going to run out of air. But as you can see, it is killing them uh, pretty easily, considering the 35s. Okay, the floor's dead, uh, sorry. Stand up, Frost. God, wimp. The Ancients are going down quick as well, when I can actually aim at the damn things, because there's just too many of these guys. But as you can see, the ammo is gone. Which is why the ammo mutator is so necessary for this. But we have killed so many of these things already. It's ridiculous. I don't have any power. Oh no, I've brought the vipers. Oh god, no. Um, no, no, bringing the vipers is a good thing. Uh, they will save my butt. The problem is they are also evil on the ammo. Don't like bringing two ammo heavy weapons to the same fight. We need to move out of this room, this is going to hurt us so badly. But yeah, the reload, as you can see, that's still not that quick. We should be aiming this better. If we actually aimed this and shot in short bursts, this would last a lot longer. But we're not, we're literally just pointing it at them and opening fire. And that's it out of ammo. Ah, no! God damn, orc traps are such a pain in the Anyway, that is the reload there. It is still long, even with the reload in there. Which is one of the reasons we like so much to put this reload mod in. Because without it, it takes a hell of a long time. But, considering we're about to run out of ammo again, because I brought this on completely the wrong mission, I should have used it against Vanilla or anything apart from infested survival. Ah, damn it. This is actually an alert for best part of uh, 12,000 credits. Hence the reason it is being such a pain in the butt. So anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. As I say, this thing did come out pretty powerful. The reload still takes an age though. Which is why there is a lot better weapons to spend your time and former on. Wow, that's like the third time you've smacked me in the face. Yeah, take a boot to the jaw. And he's dead. <laughs> I do love this weapon, but it is better. It's more fun on, eh, let's call them tier 2 planets. We'll end him. If we can. Aha. And leave this off here. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.